I've been a guy that's a starter in this league. I've been a guy that's won a playoff game. I've been a guy that's also been benched. I've been a guy that's also, you know, been just a practice practice player. So I, I really feel like my value as a leader comes in relationships. I, I'm gonna be able to relate to a lot of different people um, because I've experienced a lot of different things in this league. The, the value that I've had over my time, over my short career, um, is gonna allow me to be a guy that people can come to and hopefully I can elevate them and make them the best players they can be. I want to continue to prove that not only am I a starter but I can play at a high level. You know, given the opportunity uh, to be a leader, to be a guy that guys can look to, um, you know, at the end of the day I think to play the quarterback position it's important to elevate the play of your teammates and for me um, being in a couple of different spots I can relate to a lot of different people and that value, I think, can help these guys become the best, and um, really that's my ultimate goal. During my time in Tennessee, um, you know, we went through a lot of different things. Um, you know, went through coaching changes, I went through, um, you know, a broken ankle, I went through some of these things that um, you, people would call adversity, and, you know, I was tired. I was just kind of tired of all the turnover, I was tired of being beat up, wasn't playing well, and, you know, at, at the end of the day, um, you know, this is a performance-based business, and when you're not playing well, things happen. Um, and I understood that. So, you know, I was both mentally and physically beat up, um, you know, and, and I think this is a great opportunity for me to kind of showcase what I've learned over the course of the last couple of years. Um, you know, being around guys like Ryan Tannehill and Derek Carr, guys that have played at a high level. Um, so, you know, with Art, I think we, we've developed a relationship where we can communicate, we can get things off our chest, we can put forth uh, what we think is best for the offense. And then secondly, he's always going to be honest with me. And if there's things that I need to improve on, he's going to work on it with me. And um, that's why I think and believe in this, in this situation. And I'm excited for this opportunity. Well, Art and I have had a great relationship. He was there when I first got drafted in Tennessee. And he's been kind of that support system, uh, somebody that I could go in and just kind of talk to. And um, I know he's always going to give me an honest answer. I know he's always going to shoot me straight. And, to have that, especially in this league, is always very important. Um, and it always just kind of gives you perspective. His passion, his commitment to the game, um, his willingness to be innovative, um, you know, those are types of things that not a lot of people kind of see, but I think as a player, I do really appreciate. So, um, you know, my time with him in Tennessee um, has really kind of laid a foundation that I know what I'm kind of walking into in this building. And again, I'm just excited to be a part of this culture because I think he's got something working really special. Dave, nice to meet you. What Matt did here, what he's accomplished here is truly greatness. And um, for me, I just got to kind of carve my own path. Um, you know, I appreciate what he's done, appreciate what he's been for this organization. And the best thing that I can do is try to put my best foot forward and um, be the best player that I can be. Um, and, you know, whatever comes of that, whatever successes, whatever failures, um, just take everything on the chin. and. Um, understand that this is my process, this is my journey, and just appreciate what he's done and, and what he's been for this, for this organization. For me, as my career continues to go forward, um, you know, I, I really believe that the things that I've gone through have prepared me for this moment, and I'm just excited to just get back out on the field and show what I'm capable of. You know, getting in last season, you know, at points in times, be able to run the football, um, you know, I feel great. My legs are under me. Uh, I feel like I can be explosive. I can do things out of the pocket. Um, so to be able to have that, to be creative, to be dynamic, that's kind of where I feel like offenses are going. And, um, you know, I'm more than capable of doing that. I just can expect a quarterback that's grown up a lot, um, that's gone through the ups and downs, that's gone and played at a high level, that's kind of also been down at the lowest point, but has realized that those experiences ultimately will make me a better player. You're going to see the mobility, you're going to see the throwing, you're going to see all that kind of stuff, but you're going to realize that, you know, what I was three, four years ago isn't necessarily who I am now. And um, I'm really excited to show fans as well as even myself uh, what I'm capable of.